What's up guys, it's Dizzy PW with Emma Mohud. We're over at Kid Studios to get an updated look at what's going on with Smash Muck Champions. Please introduce yourself to our audience. Hi, I'm Ben Rogers. I'm the lead game designer on Smash Muck. All right, show it to us. Yep. So, since last PAX, you guys have seen the Plunder Ball mode for both Plunder Isle and our Cliffside Battlegrounds map. Um, in, at, at this PAX, we've added another game, uh, game mode and a game map. Uh, it's a conquest. It's the Globber Factory map. It's a 3v3 kind of King of the Hill style map. Um, each per, each team hold, caps and holds points to earn a score. And when they capped out the score and 100 100 points, they uh, essentially they win the game. Um, the more points you hold, the faster your score is going to go up. What's cool about that map is there's a lot more dynamic elements. Is one of the things we've been pushing since uh, since last PAX um, at making the map more hazards, more things. In that mode, we've got bridges that open and close. If you control a point, the bridges will open, and the best part is when the bridges open and the enemy team is standing on it at the time, because then they all fall in and die, which is the only reason I play that map. Um, this is our Cliffside Battlegrounds map. It's uh, our Plunder Ball mode, and I am playing Platymus, the champion that was designed at PAX East. So just six months ago, we had players design this champion. Um, he's a uh, he's a Platymus unicorn wannabe um, who throws eggs, makes babies, grabs the babies out of the eggs once they've matured, and then carries around these little babies and throws them at enemies. So now I got a little baby. So he's a ranged, or he's a melee support champion who basically creates buffs, puts them on allies, and then can pass those buffs to allies and enemies. So he's got, he kind of has a dual role in that aspect. Now just to get an idea of your community, I'm guessing they're the ones that requested he's followed by Rainbow? Um, yeah, Rainbow was pretty much in the uh, the panel description of it, so we, we, we know what they want. We're just going to give them what they want, like we, like we do. Most most things that we do in the game are community-driven. Uh, over the time, um, since last PAX, we've gotten more and more forum posts for suggestions for new weapons and new skills. We've got one going in in a couple of weeks um, that's basically from a forum post suggestion. Um, we just recently did a, a tournament that players could design their the new champion skill swap. And these teams competed to fight for, they came up with an idea for what skill they wanted, and we had them fight for it, which is the only reason, real way to design a skill, in my opinion. Um, so the next one we're gonna be making is a uh, mainframe Tesla pulse turret, which is an uh, alternate to, to his normal turret where it just pulses out these shock waves that'll slow guys around him. It allows them to play champions in a different way than they played previously um, because certain skills will be swapped out and they can play the guy entirely a different way. If you like the champion, you just don't want the same the same skill set. We've done it before, but having players design it is a lot, a lot of fun and it's actually less work for us. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, so what kind of uh, champions have you designed recently since, say, PAX East? Um, we've got Kunak in here. He is our Dragon Hunter Yeti and he is... Part of our, our fan request to add more skills that are skill targeters, essentially leading targets, um, he's got a, all of his basic attacks are projectiles that take time to reach their target, but he can throw extra long so he can toss them all the way across the map. He also has some, some crazy abilities where he can throw his spear all, all the way across the map and push people along that route, and it goes through other champions, so you can push people right off cliffs, send them flying, and just gain some distance on people if they're getting too close. What's some other examples? Um, we've got, let's see, we've got Platymus, we've got Dr. Jennifer, did Vugul at last PAX. We've, we, we've slowed down on the champions we were releasing to get more maps out. Um, we're focusing on getting the Steam release that's coming out the 6th, um, but we're going to be picking up again in October. We're going to put out a new champion. It's, it, it may or may not be a champion that uh, summons a bunch of minions and, and just sends them around the map. Uh, depending on what the packs people say tonight, um, we have to change our plans. We can't work that hard far in advance, considering what they want. And uh, how's the uh, how's it going with all these maps you're coming out with in terms of balance? Oh no, map balance is great. We can we can design different maps that have areas of difficulty and ease of getting across it. So in this map, we usually use the south end of the map that is the faster route, but the more dangerous route. So you, if you want to avoid guys, you could do great pushes and things like that. You can you can get up to areas where you can basically take the long way around and it, it gives the other team an advantage where they're they're kind of dictating your actions which is nice um, 
maps like this, our original Plunderball map, was very um, much more favoring players that could do leaps and jumps. This one, not so much. Um, I kind of like to to mess around with apps. I'm a originally came as from level design, so I really like seeing the the individual fights that go on at moment to moment interactions in the in the mode, as opposed to the the overall piece of it. And it's great to see how each person, each champion, will focus on a specific spot in a map depending on which champion they are, and they'll actually run around to different areas of maps um, based on the, the champion. So you'll see that a scathe or a real good pusher will hang around in this area because that is a prime spot for knocking people in, whereas a uh, Dr. Trip or a Rook or even a Platinus will put down eggs and be able to get up here to take the, the speed boost to get around. So it's really fun to see where, where it plays, and we've had our, I saw my first camper at last PAX, someone who's just camping a spot, and that's always great when you see a new play style emerge. All right, thanks. The game's looking great. I think it's really ready for Steam now, and uh, anytime, man. I'm glad we got a good update on the game. Thanks. Thanks for coming by.